B9.5 S4, what temp ranges what temp ranges are considered optimal for engine and transmission? What temp number is considered overheating? Oh, okay. Um, this is another one of those, it depends kind of it, it really depends. So the, the factory stuff um, and most tunes, uh, cruising light load stuff will target a little over 100 C um, for yeah. coolant and water temps, um, just to optimize, so, you know, oil viscosity drag things mm -hmm. and whatnot to get, get everything up and, and uh, up to temp. As you get into load, uh, that's going to be tuning dependent and it varies from car to car. Um, we will generally pull it down in the 90s um, under sustained load stuff. What's considered overheating? Uh, it's going to depend on the component too. Transmissions are going to have a very different temperature range than engines. Engines at coolant temps in the teens, 100, you know, 115 C is probably it's getting there. <laughs> well, your boiling point goes up as yeah. your pressure, you, you know, um, your, your uh, system pressure is increased, but yeah, I mean, much north of that, and you're, you're going to be getting into hopefully power reduction states and uh, overheat states. Yeah, I think, mean, and then we're talking about oil or coolant temps. Yeah, they, they don't specify. So yeah, yeah the oil temp's going to be much higher generally on on very hot, uh, high load situations, and similarly, yeah, transmission temperatures can be certainly hotter than that too. But I think in general, like stuff over three hundred is Fahrenheit. Yep. Yeah, sustained is, is on the hot side for for oil temps. Yeah, a lot of the conventional wisdom about oil temps doesn't hold up anymore with synthetic oils that have much higher um, smoke points and operating temps. Um, yeah, but once you're once you're at that point, though, you're you're having you're going to struggle keeping coolant temps in check. Yeah, because yeah, they're linked. Yep. Yeah, you've got basically one thermal mass yeah. that's. That's what the factory does. So, in the aftermarket, we we start to try to separate that out or add more cooling to one side or the other, but they are linked from from factory, which which is the right way to do it. You you really want to get oil temps up as quickly as you can. It really helps emissions and engine and engine life longevity.